Efforts to transform the Niger Delta have received a boost from the Federal Executive Council following the approval of 44 infrastructural projects forwarded to the Council by the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. Briefing State House correspondents after the Council meeting, the Minister of Information, Mr. Labaran Maku, said the approval is part of the phased development of the Niger Delta region from the funds that accrue to that region from the Commission. Also, the Federal Executive Council approved a policy for Nigeria to deal with issues on climate change in the country. Our correspondent, Chukuma Onwekusi, has the report. Uppermost in the minds of President Goodluck Jonathan and his ministers as they gather this week is a widely held opinion that the Niger Delta region has suffered enough deprivation despite being the goose that lays the golden egg. From oil spills that have destroyed aquatic lives to gas flaring, the region cries out for development. And to develop the area, the federal government established the Niger Delta Development Commission. The 44 projects approved were cut across eight states. States that will benefit include Cross River, Aquebom, Rivers, Delta, Baelsa, Imo, Abia, on those states. Uh, all these states uh, have uh, one project or the, or the other uh, that is going to be executed by the Commission. Still on environmental issues, the Federal Executive Council approved the adoption of the National Policy on Climate Change. Recent developments in the country vis-a-vis -vis flooding and other environmental issues informed the approval. Nigeria has an obligation to reduce human-induced carbon emissions in the country for the health and welfare or well-being of its citizens. We realized that to do this in so many other sectors, there's a need to have an organized policy that is accepted by all and that is implementable. The fate of military retirees will no longer be hanging on the balance after meritoriously serving their fatherland. Government has included them in the National Health Insurance Scheme. The retirees had, you know, before this approval, been going to the military health facilities requesting for free medical care, but unfortunately they were not attended to. The final approval for the week went to the Federal Capital Territory, which is seeking the sum of 13.2 billion naira for infrastructure development of the Mboro district of the Capital Territory. This phase two will provide the, the uh, local roads, the minor access roads, telecommunication, water reticulation, power supply, surface and wastewater drainage, and so on and so forth. Um, the completion period is 36 months. Government says the project, when completed, will be a boost to the development of the federal capital territory. Chukuma Onwekusi, Channels Television News.